got to go back a number of years. I think I think 2017. Ben Affleck put out this little film called The Accountant, and next to nobody saw it. I think it made like a grand total of like 155 million at the box office. Now, I I think that broke even because the budget on the film was only like in the 40s. It was only 40 something million, mm-hmm. maybe 44, 45 million dollars to make the film. So they probably at least broke even on it. I thought the movie was wonderful. I had a great time with it because him, John Bernthal. Anna Kendrick's in it. Oh. J.K. Simmons. She was so great. Uh, I love her in everything. She's just a, she is the living ray of sunshine. Mm-hmm. I just love her. And I like their chemistry and everything. And I thought the movie was really underappreciated. And then I thought the ending was great. And the ending clearly set up not only a sequel. The ending was set up to be a franchise. Like, not just a sequel. The way that movie ended, the way the story threads came together, they were clearly setting this up to be a bit of a franchise. But again, at only $155 million. Now, for about four years, we've heard whispers and rumors that they might do An Accountant 2, and now it looks official. This comes to us from Coming Soon, who write the following. The Accountant 2 will begin filming in 2024 per deadline. Ben Affleck is scheduled to film a, a sequel to 2016's The Accountant in 2024, The news comes after it was announced that Affleck will direct Matt Damon in a new Netflix crime thriller, Animals, which will go into production before Accountant 2. So this is going to be a busy year for Ben Affleck. A sequel to The Accountant was announced to be in development in 2017, but wasn't officially greenlit until 2021. Gavin O'Connor, who helmed the original movie, is returning to direct. And I love the fact that they're getting the original uh, director back for that. He also directed Affleck a couple years ago in this little film that not a lot of people paid attention to called The Way Back, which was really kind of a self-meditation because it was about this coach who like struggled hard with alcoholism. Ben Affleck was going through that at the time. And I don't know if that made people feel weird about seeing it or not, but it was very cathartic for Ben Affleck. I like that movie much. He also did the, the Miracle on Ice movie, which, I mean, he's done a bunch of things that I've really liked. So I loved hearing that. Now, the key for me here, I love Anna Kendrick. But even more important than Anna Kendrick to this, I think, is John Bernthal, because the two brothers going off on whatever, do they become like an equalizer? Do they become like an A-team? If you need help and no one else can be there, you can call on the account. I, I, I think I kind of forget how that ended, because I, in my mind, John Bernthal wouldn't be able to be in the second one. But yeah, now I maybe remember I, how this... I think I'm misremembering it. Yeah, I gotta he, see it again. This I is your it. joker. Where like, I no, he died. can be there. Yeah, <laughs> And then it also ended with like, Ben distributing all this money, funding all these things. And it turns out like his handler is another person on the autism um, spectrum. 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 I was going to say scale spectrum. I, it's just, it's a really good movie. JK Simmons. Um, I just really love this film and I am thrilled that they're finally going to shoot again this year. Guys, we want to take a second to thank a sponsor of this video, Factor. Get started on your resolutions with Factor so you're ready for the new year. Factor's ready-to-eat meal delivery takes the stress out of meal planning and sets you up for success in the new year. Skip the grocery store and prep work because you know what? Sometimes we just don't feel like prepping our own meals. Instead, get chef-crafted, dietitian approved meals delivered right to your door. With over 35 meals to choose from per week, including options like keto, calorie smart, vegan, and more, plus over 55 weekly add-ons, you'll have a ton of nutritious and flavorful options to kickstart your resolutions. Forget frantic lunch preps and rushed dinners. Factor's two-minute meals are your secret weapon in the new year. Fuel up fast with restaurant-quality meals all delivered right to your door. And Factor now offers loads of snack options like breakfast, smoothies, juices, snacks, and more to keep me going no matter what's on the schedule. It's time to skip the overpriced takeout trap. Factor is cheaper and way more delicious than takeout. And Factor is flexible. Change your order up every week with plans from 4 to 18 meals per week or pause or reschedule your deliveries anytime. So guys, head to factormeals.com slash campia50 and use the code campia50 to get 50% off. That's code campia50 at factormeals.com slash campia50 to get 50% off. Anyway, Chris, you hear about this news. Look, again, despite my enthusiasm, the reality is the first film 
didn't generate a lot of interest. I mean, it only made $155 million, yeah. But I don't know. What do you think about this? I'm honestly pretty surprised when I got the show notes today. I was like, really? Are they <laughs> doing that? Because the, the critic score of this was about 52%, and the audience score was 76%. Right. Obviously, we've seen this in the past so many times, too, where critics and audiences don't see eye to eye. But... That's not a particularly high audience score, too, for a movie from 2016 to see us revisiting the franchise or the potential mm -hmm. of a franchise, right? So it's very, very interesting. But, you know, like you were saying, it did basically double on what they spent on it. They made their money back on this film. And if Ben Affleck wants to make something, good for Ben Affleck. Get on out there. Plus, this is such a stacked cast, and especially with just how John Bernthal's grown as an actor and become mm -hmm. such a phenomenon, I think that really is your ace in the hole now, is just having him be part of this and really, really showcase and highlight him. Because when he pops up in anything, looking at you, the bear, oh my gosh, it's just fireworks. But you know, you know what's funny, though? He's kind of made this career out of kind of popping up in small little roles. So whether it's something like the bear... Or whether it's something, remember, um, what was the, it was Wind River, was that it? Um, that yes. had the two Avengers in it? Yeah. It was called Wind River, right? Yeah. I, he, he just had, like, John Bernthal was in that. And you'd be forgiven if you saw the movie and forgot that, because it was only in, like, a couple of scenes. He was the boyfriend of the murdered girl in that. So that's happened. I, John Bernthal's a really interesting case there, because I don't know why he's not an A-list star right now. Like, I don't know why we don't have films coming out starring John Bernthal as the main lead sort of thing. I, I think, think he's got the ability to do it. He plays charismatic assholes so well. <laughs> he really he does. plays problematic people who you enjoy, and I feel like he does it so well that there is that kind of disconnect. Almost like the cast of Breaking Bad, right? Right. The wife on that was so convincing that people were writing her death threats because they hated her character so much. Because she was such a phenomenal actress. People have such a hard time separating the actor from the character. Oh, yeah. And I think John's one of those he, characters, too, who, even, like... Yeah. Ugh. Ford v. Ferrari is another example of mm -hmm. that. Yep. Where and and what was the movie? Yeah. He, I think he was in He was in a movie with uh, DiCaprio where... The one where he had the money taped to him. I'm Oh, I can't remember which one it was now. Oh, okay. Anyway. With that one. Uh, I'm super excited about this. This is a good day for me. I've been wanting an accountant remake ever since, or a sequel, ever since I saw the first film. So I'm super stoked about this. And uh, I hope you can get through production on that Matt Damon Animals film really quickly and get on to The Accountant 2. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Make sure you like the video, leave a comment, and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget, we have a daily podcast called The John Campy Show Podcast, available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or your favorite podcasting app of choice. Go and subscribe to it today so it'll be there when you need it.